and welcome to our collections craft tutorial inspired by woven portrait of Robert Burns that is in our museum's collection. If you wish to find out more about this portrait, please click on the link below this video. For this craft, you'll need a ruler, a pencil, a pair of scissors and cello tape. You will also need to print out two copies of the Robert Burns portrait templates available on our website. If you do not have a printer at home, don't worry, you can also use pictures or adverts from any old newspapers or magazines you have at home and get creative with them. I have printed out my templates on different colour paper, one white, one blue. I start by drawing a line along the top edge of one of my templates about 4cm wide. I then draw a vertical line about 8cm in from the right hand side of the image. I mark little tots 1cm apart along the first line that I drew and mark little dots along the bottom edge too. This will help me draw straight lines across Burns' face, which is what I will do now. Once I have drawn my lines, I will cut along them, ending with vertical lines for Burns' face. In weaver's terms, these are called warp threads. I will now move on to my other template, starting again by drawing a 4cm line along the top of the image. And then I mark 1cm dots along both the left and the right hand side, these will help me draw straight lines through Burns' face again, this time horizontal lines. Time to do some more cutting. In weaver's terms, these are known as weft threads. Make sure you keep your strips in the right order, otherwise it will be very difficult to assemble your image later. Throw away the wider strip top of Burns' head as you will not be needing it for weaving. Now, let's weave! I am starting from the very top, taking the first 1cm weft strip I cut. I then weave the strip under and over the blue warp strips. Remember, weft goes left. I push the strip all the way to the top so it lines up with Burns' face and then secure the strip with small bits of cello tape on the left and right hand side. I then take my second strip. This time I weave it over and under, over and under my blue warp strips. This way a checkered pattern will form. I weave the third strip the same way I did the first one, under and over, under and over, and the fourth strip, same way I did the second one, over and under, over and under. I keep weaving until I've used up all my strips. Once I'm done, I will flip my work over and stick a piece of tape along the second and third lines, both on the left and right hand side. This will prevent my strips from slipping about again. I will turn my work back over and draw a line both on the left and right hand side to cut off the tape that I used to secure my paper strips while I was weaving. I then carefully lift up the left and right hand side of my portrait and hide the white strips underneath. Then a bit more taping and the portrait is done! I hope you enjoyed this craft. Whether you are using our resources or some other images, we would love to see your work. Please share your photos with us on social media. Find our social links below. Thank you and bye!